Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, <clears throat> so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is an energy of someone who is feeling a bit confused. This is someone who feels emotionally overwhelmed. This can also be an energy of someone who has a lot of options around them, but they feel cautious. They, they feel unsure about these options or about their current situation. There is a heavy energy of not seeing things clearly and feeling a bit stressed out by that feeling a bit overwhelmed so let's see we have the full aquarius energy we have the ace of swords air energy and the queen of swords air energy so you could be presented here with some sort of new love interests or you could just have options here and you may be really thinking about whether you want to take that leap into a new beginning there's this feeling of you hesitating or you taking your time to decide, really being more in a logical energy with the Queen of Swords. It's almost like you're looking for a certain kind of experience in love this time around. You may want someone who you can connect with on an emotional but also mental level. So it does look like there's something here about you having options and you being a bit confused about what you want to do or what you want to entertain, who you want to entertain. With the fool, there's someone here, it could be a new person or just a new beginning in love making itself available to you. And it is going to require a bit of a leap of faith, you know, because there's something different about the situation. It could be that the person is coming towards you is someone quite unique to you, someone who's different from your usual type or the situation is unusual in some way and it may cause you to hesitate. You may delay you know, going forward, you may want to think it through first with the Queen of Swords energy. You're, you're, you're being seen as hard to get. You're being seen as a challenge. So let's clarify these cards, uh, Sagittarius. Okay, we have the seven of pentacles and this is earth energy virgo taurus capricorn energy yeah it really looks like someone is going to be initiating a new beginning like they're proposing a new start with you and you're gonna hesitate there's this feeling of you feeling like you should be cautious or wanting to take things slow or just really thinking things through let's see we have the two of swords air energy the ten of pentacles earth energy and the two of wands fire energy yeah there's a heavy energy of thinking you may even feel a bit indecisive with this two of swords. <clears throat> it could be because you have options, you know, it's like more than one person here or it's someone specific, but for some reason you, you feel like you, you feel like you need more time or like you can't trust what they're offering you. And so you may delay, you know, in embracing this new beginning. But with the Ten of Pentacles being here under the Ace of Swords, it looks like whoever is coming towards you has a serious offer they are proposing to you. This is someone who actually is taking you quite seriously. They want to invest in a future with you. They want to be with you. They want a real commitment. And they're willing to, you know, really give it their all. This is someone who, you know, they're very attracted to you in non-superficial ways as well. Like they also love your mind. They, they see you as very smart, very, um, someone they can communicate easily with. And they are very attracted to you. So it does look like, there's an energy here of a, a, new be, a new beginning being proposed to you and you're in this contemplative energy like you're really going to take your time with deciding whether you want this or not and there's an energy of going slow taking you like things are on your terms on your timetable here okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you sagittarius
Okay, we have show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. Okay, so you're really being advised here to uh, be true to yourself, you know, being authentic, trusting yourself, your wants, your desires. Okay, let's see. Okay, we have let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally so while it is good to be cautious and to really think things through there's also a message you have to be careful of not being too controlling or trying to have too much of the upper hand or trying to force things to go a certain way sometimes it is also advisable to kind of allow things to progress naturally okay so let's see Okay, we have rebirth and new beginnings. New beginnings are often disguised as painful endings. So a new start is really making its way to you and it's up to you if you want to embrace this new start. It looks like it could be a new person or someone who you already have had an ending with who wants to have a rebirth. They want to have a new beginning with you and you may want to take time to think about it, but there's an opportunity here to have a new start in love for you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Sagittarius. Okay, we have surrender stubbornness. If you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. So again, there's a message here that you're being advised to not be too rigid or too controlling or uh, too fixed on having a certain way that things should come about. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Sagittarius. I hope you have a really, really good day, Sagittarius. Bye, Sagittarius.